All right, welcome back everyone. Great day, it's a great day out. Nice and sunny, I think this whole week is supposed to be sunny. Uh, I don't think I'm going back to the flea market this weekend. I was kind of thinking about it, contemplating it, but I don't think I will. I am, however, taking all my recyclables. I got a bunch of packages here and I'm dropping them off in my, uh, my recycling bin. Throw this guy in here. That would go in there. Today's gonna be kind of a check-in video. It's been a while since I've done one of these. Uh, I want to show you guys how uh, the warehouse is doing. Daily video. Got a lot of things to do today. Finally finished up doing all my uh, my tax receipts for my thrift store. So that's completed. And maybe I'll show you a little, a little bit about doing taxes. It's due pretty much pretty soon right now. So let's get into it. I stop off at the post office first kind of breezing through here that person still has well I don't know oh PA I may have been PH that's purple heart that's that donation thing uh, I do believe remember you guys might remember a while back that there was a long low a long row of stuff there's like a, a bicycle a bunch of toys I think that was going to PH but it wasn't marked as it. I know a while back they put out stuff and it was all marked. So the only reason I took anything was because it wasn't marked, but I kind of have a feeling that that's kind of where it was going. It's kind of like a donation thing. They come off, they, they come to your place and they they pick it up. Piers is the only thing that's out right now is recyclables. That guy's recycling bins down. Always in the mood to trash pick if there's anything to find. Looks like we got a box on the right. Just recyclables. So we got a package here for, or a letter here from Amaret in Virginia. Looks like a nice letter. Thank you, Amaret, for that. Really appreciate it. As you can see, there's like salsa hair everywhere. Onward we go. Not even 10 o'clock and this establishment, Jimmy's, is open. Interesting. Uh, the trash can up there, so I'll grab this. Gotta head into Petco, get salsa. Her food. She goes through lots of food. That's what dogs do. They eat a lot. Actually, right down there is uh, the U-Haul place that I go for auctions. Like the storage auctions. With but I don't know when the next sale is. Oh boy, what in the world? New brand? Sponsored brand? Do like that packaging. I've never given Salsa wet food. She'd probably love it. Probably one of these days I'll switch it up, give her something special, a treat. It might upset her stomach, that's my only issue. I was giving a dog wet food. Let's see, what do we got? What do we got? Oh. There it is. So that's one way to grab. Still on sale. It's $52. Uh, funny thing is with this brand is, so I switched up her food because she was licking her paws. And I know Auction Life said something about allergies in my live chat. But I wanted to switch it up and add it like something else into her diet. And I chose this because I, because I like the packaging. It's pretty pathetic. I was choosing that between like that one and then there was another one. It was the Snake River. But the Snake River looked too much like that one. So I, I just like the packaging. Even though wild salmon sounds a little bit better than snake. I'll grab this. Baby wolf. Or a coyote, not a wolf. There's salsa right there. I know this camera doesn't zoom. How, oh, you know, let me try something. Nope. I, I just tried zooming on the camera. Did not work. Currently working on Etsy things over there. I'm washing... 
uh, Salsa's bed, so I think she's kind of stressed out. But work on Etsy things. As you see, I got a couple piles over there. I did probably four or five shirts right now, but I'm also looking at online storage auctions. Well, this doesn't really work when I do this. Maybe I'll just get out of the way. It still doesn't do a good job. Look at that. Absolute, looks like garbage. Do you guys see anything of interest in here? Because I don't. It's a little bit farther. Currently at 610 bucks. 14 days to go. And it looks like it might be like all camera equipment, like musical, like transportation, like for a concert. So I assume these boxes are probably worth some money. I do see them at auctions every now and then. And they go for about like 45, 50 bucks. These smaller ones you probably get 25, 30 at an auction. That might be a television. Or I don't know, maybe those are speakers. So maybe these boxes have more of these boxes in them. That's my guess. That's 610 bucks. Got 14 days. There's a couple other auctions right now going on that I'm kind of interested in. I'm going to throw a bid on. Let's see what else we got. You guys might see a lot of scaffolding. Looks like a Christmas tree. Just random stuff thrown in there. Something about bidding on a storage locker. Maybe one of these. Uh, that are 10 bucks. There's probably, I don't know, four or five right now. Uh, right now, tomorrow, there's actually a couple more lockers going up. I just got an email on that. Let's see what the email says. For your information, is holding an auction on four lockers. The locker sizes are one is five by 10, one is 10 by 20, and one is 10 by 30, which equals three lockers. Uh, I know it says four lockers. I don't know if he made a mistake if there's three lockers or there's actually four lockers, but that will be tomorrow. That'll be tomorrow's video. I'm going to try to bid on some of that as well, or at least one of them. If there's three, I think I can still, still can manage to get one. This one's fortunately not advertised like anywhere, which is perfect, uh, unless you guys are also already in the loop. And the reason why they kind of do that is because advertisement costs are pretty substantial when you're only selling three or two or even one locker you know if you sell a locker for a hundred bucks the guy owes four hundred dollars on it and they have to pay the auctioneer uh, they have to pay advertisement costs and then it's only one locker it, it's kind of pointless so uh, if you're in the loop of some of these things you're kind of involved tomorrow i guess we have three or four lockers so that'll be tomorrow's video well i do some more storage lockers i know people have been asking uh, and now we'll head up to the the warehouse. I know a lot of people have been asking to see what the warehouse looks like right now. I did pack up some stuff for the flea market last week, so some of it's gone, but most of it just ended up being thrown right back in there. So let's go check that out. Alrighty, welcome back everyone. So I'll do a little bit of uh, updating here in the warehouse. So I've had this box here for quite some time. It's all Craftsman parts. Uh, I think I'm going to probably bring it to the flea market this year. It's I think it's time to kind of step it up in the world and bring craftsman parts i guess i do like keeping a toolbox in every building that i do work on so this is my warehouse and i do like to have tools in here so if i ever need them to take apart something so maybe i'll have to grab a couple wrenches i know tomorrow there is that storage locker and there was one locker i think was a 10 by 30 i don't know if there was a car in it um but if it was filled with box lots it would definitely fill up this whole room they most definitely if not top it off here there's just so much clutter i have all these license plates most of these i have to get up on the wall some of these i'm going to put on this wall if i ever get around to that as you guys can see this wall's coming along but it, it's taking time it, it just it's very hard to find time for myself you know now if a dog working two jobs it's very difficult to just kind of have alone time so when i do i kind of just try and make the best of it the more and more i look at this artwork this is something i received as a gift the more i see about myself so i know i didn't really show off everything there's the allentown pennsylvania that's close you got the snapback buckle got moscow pennsylvania uh found objects so the more and more i look at this the more artwork i can see from people who you know if you watch my videos you guys might see like 
smaller details about my life that might not be prevalent. So this means a lot because there's a lot of information in here that, you know, has come from a variety of videos, which means that, you know, people out there are actually watching all my content, which is amazing. Uh, it, it truly means a lot when people do enjoy your videos for yourself in terms of people enjoy my videos because of me and not necessarily just my content. I know recently some of my videos haven't been getting as many views as other ones. And, you know, as a content creator, it can get kind of frustrating. But at the same time, it just it kind of is what it is. And you kind of have to adapt to that in some sort of way. So when people, you know, gain stuff from every single video, it truly means a lot that people actually enjoy me, enjoy the content that I'm producing. So I thank you guys for that, uh, for being realistic with, you know, the content that I provide. License plate wall is coming along. It does look nice. Every time I, I take a photo and post on Instagram, people always compliment about it because it does look nice. In terms of Lambertville and what I had... Uh, I sold some Pyrex bowls. I didn't bring these. Uh, I did sell one of these jugs. So I had two. I got these in back-to-back -back weeks out of the landfill. The other one that I sold, a little bit bigger, and it was filled of muddy water, and the guy literally poured it out right, right there at the table. And I was like, well, that's kind of embarrassing. But, hey, freshly dug up, something that is not staged or anything like that. It is authentic as authentic could be. Nice, nice piece, and... Do you seem to enjoy it? I think I got 10 bucks for it, and that was all right. I sold a couple of mason jars. Like I said, I sold some Pyrex. I think I sold three, three bowls. And the person who did buy them said that whenever she comes across Pyrex at flea market, everyone thinks they have gold, and I was selling them pretty affordable. I, I did sell them for a little bit more than I paid. I think I, I paid probably a dollar or a dollar fifty for some of those bowls, but I got like three bucks. Out they go. That's the price they should sell for at a flea market, especially common bowls. People are asking 10 15 and they don't sell and they, you know, they wonder why. Uh, got some items here. I did, didn't have a lot of buyers or potential buyers, as I like to say, viewers maybe, who looked at this item. This I got a while back. I got that out of the trash. I actually got it with this like white cabinet over here. And no one asked me about it. No one asked me the price, but a couple people looked at it. I've been holding on to that thing forever. I've had that probably in four or five videos now, and for some reason, I don't want to throw it away because I like it. Uh, but that's going to kind of wrap it up here. As you see, I have a lot of stuff. Hopefully, can add some more to, or hopefully, can add more to it tomorrow. We will see. I know during the summer, these prices at flea mar uh, at auctions just go insanely. You know, it's like people need inventory. As you see, I don't really need inventory, but you know, if I'm not going to be able to buy in two months, I might as well buy now. So been fun hopefully you guys enjoyed it thanks for joining me for the catch-up video of the week and uh guys enjoyed it smack that like button until next time have a great day keep living dream peace